Hey guys, so I finally did pay off my Home Depot credit card. Well, technically, the payment's still pending, so I won't get hit with $163 in interest, which is good, and my utilization will go down a little bit. But at the same time, I cashed out savings to cover bills, so I'm really hoping that I can go ahead and just make the bills and put the money back into savings, and then also, you know, pay my rent and all that jazz because I like to have money in savings. I don't like to use it. So I'm gonna to attempt to not have to use that money on bills, but I don't know, I still have another payment that I have to make, or I have to do some kind of maintenance on my car coming up, that I don't know exactly how much it's gonna be. It's 90,000 miles that I hit on my new car. Well, I had eight miles on it when I got it. Now I'm up to right at 90,000. Anyways, off to work I go. Bye. All right, on my way to uh, deliver an Instacart order. Sometimes it seems like things won't take that long. Like sometimes it's really hard to judge just how long an order will take. Sometimes it seems like an order, you fly through it, get it done and delivered within an hour. And then sometimes you do the order, you're like, mostly done with it and you're like crap it's gonna take me two hours but it's one of those things on on orders like this i judge it based on if it does take that long if it if uh things get screwy and it takes longer than i expect then i always try to make sure the amount is enough to cover at least minimum wage for those two hours Hopefully more. Anyways, got to get to it. Bye for now, guys. Till next. Sometimes I make really good choices when it comes to the apps. You know, DoorDash, Instacart, Uber Eats, uh, Spark, which I haven't done in a while because it's been busy enough. But um, I made. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I make really bad choices um, when it comes to the apps. Because yeah, um, I will accept an order <clears throat> when I'm getting up to 100% like I am now, or I'm trying to, I'm at 97% currently, trying to get to 100%. Uh, I should be there in just a few orders though, which will be good. And then at the beginning of the month, I'll, you know, ex start stop accepting the really bad ones like this. But I ended up in Napa Vine, which I should have, you know, paused Dash and then got back to a good area before I resumed Dash. And then it gave, but I didn't. And then it gave me an order at Taco Bell going all the way to Winlock for 11 plus miles. And now I have to go 11 plus miles back before I get another order. At least it's freeway driving. So it's, you know, only a few minutes. All right, I've had enough. I'm going home. I just got pulled over. No, just kidding. Didn't get pulled over. It's just this light thing, whatever they call it. It's the security thingy. Anyways, I'm in Winlock again. You would think once bitten, twice shy, right? No, nah, I just decided I'd stay in Napa Vine and take another order to Winlock. <sighs> at least I got another acceptance point, though. I'm at 98%. I should only have two more orders to go until I'm actually at 100%, as long as my service doesn't glitch out or etc. Or I just get fed up. I, I'm just fed up with tonight. I'm going home. I did do so well. I should have done better. I didn't do that bad, though. But now I got to drive 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes to home. 39, 40 minutes, something like that. 37 miles from here to get home. I like to be in Centralia slash Rochester going about. One more video now that I'm home. I swear once you get up close to 100% and at 100%, they just... Uh, DoorDash just takes advantage of you, at least on certain days, like today. It was ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. I thought eventually they were going to give me one of those good orders to make up for some of the bad orders, but no. Oh, my gosh. They just sent me another bad order, another bad order. Could have been worse. At least it wasn't, like, you know, $2 base pay. I've had those orders where it's just, uh, you know, only $2, nothing else, and... Yeah, it was still pretty bad, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, like, I decided to take one more on the way home, and it was 10 miles to Bucota, which cost me almost an extra hour for taking that order for only another $7. Okay, uh, I am going to get to 100%.
or at least I'm gonna try. Only two more percent to. Alright, guys. So I am um, getting out, going, and I'm almost to 100% acceptance rate on DoorDash. Should be just another two orders or so. I'm at 98%. I was at 94%, and I would have been at 100% already, but I had service issues and whatnot. But I've been trying to uh, stay out of areas that have service issues for the most part, and so far I've been doing all right. Uh, I do plan on declining again um, here and there once I get back up to 100%. But the new tier system is coming um, and that will be on the first of, of next month. So I don't know exactly 100% what to expect. Kinda, I've been up to Olympia, which has the tier system. If you go up there, it does switch you over to the tier system. So I've kind of you know, worked with it a little bit, but it is kind of crazy. You got 80% uh, acceptance to be uh, in platinum, 95% uh, completion rate, and uh, 4.8 uh, average. All right, guys, so I was gonna record a video, and I still am. I, I should have enough time to get to the store, but I just got an order. Not the greatest in the world, but at least it's keeping me going, and um, I'm at, uh, what am I at right now? 99% um, acceptance rate. I've accepted three since 99. I have no idea. Maybe I messed up somewhere along the line. Guess we'll find out. I might hit 100% soon. I'm not sure. So far, I'm at 24.75. Just so great. I I was in Rochester for a bit. Finally got out of that that uh, that hole of an area or that double mileage area I like to call. But um, I don't know. Uh, it's been an all right day. I'm feeling a little better yes, or than yesterday. I thought I was starting to get sick yesterday. I'm going to take some more immunity boosters today just in case because I do not want to get sick. Anytime I get sick, it gets me behind on bills and I don't like that. I do have savings just in case, but I do not like using that. Yeah, anyways, bye. To the eye doctor to get my new uh, glasses as um, there was something wrong with the last ones and they reordered and then I get my new ones, they put them in and it's really off. Like one is just blurry, the other one's perfect. So uh, I guess they're doing another reorder and I have to wait another two to three weeks to get my new lenses. Luckily these ones work okay. I think I'm gonna reorder um, some frames soon too because these frames are decently crooked. But um, other than that, trying to get back to work um it says busy but i'm not seeing any orders i'm hoping that means they're looking for a good one for me because i swear the last 10 orders plus have just been meh they not i don't think i've seen a, a good order i've seen a couple decent okay ones like two miles for like six bucks or something like that which isn't terrible but nothing like really good anyways back to work i go Bye. maybe it's as a nine of me but if a customer orders a massive order just like for example the last order i had was i think it was like 18 different items and a bunch of different meals and a, like i think it was only like four drinks though but it was like yeah i don't even know how much in it, it would have cost but it was a heck of a lot but i i don't really blame it on the customer at all but if it's close I only get $2 base pay, and if it hasn't been out there for very long, uh, and there's not very much demand, but still, it's like, man. Um, so yeah, I just make sure to let the customer know, I'm like, it doesn't matter how much you order, because I'm sure a lot of customers think that if they order all kinds of food, I'm gonna go ahead and get a portion of that. No, DoorDash keeps that portion, and they give me $2, unless it's you know really busy, or it's been out there a while, or etc. I'm still only gonna get $2, even if you spend like $300. Anyways, bye for now. Um, like, I don't even know. I just am exhausted, and I need to figure some stuff out. Like, I plan on trying to get, uh, well, I'm gonna be continuing to do just as many shorts, and uh, just as like I'm going to be doing more videos on top of the shorts. Uh, just I got to figure this out, um, like what I'm going to do with them. But I'm going to I'm going to make sure to have more regular video content, either a, uh, uh, you know, compilations. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of those. Uh, and then I'm also going to um, I don't even know, try to make better shorts i'm going to be working on processes or at least you know just messing around with it trying to come up with some cool things and slowly but surely improve it more and more and uh hopefully we can get this all figured out again starting to kind